Hello guys, today we're gonna take a look into the Mordor faction in the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06 in a one-on-one -on -one match between us and the Heart Army on the beautiful map Falls of Eisen. Let's get it started. Let's see all the changes they have implemented into the Mordor faction as well, shall we? Alrighty. So we're gonna build up our Orc Pit first. That's not our Orc Pit. They changed the shortcut. That's gonna be this one. And we're also gonna recruit the Golem right after. Golem is looking different as you can see and tell. And we can use Golem to wall check. Get against a good faction. And that's El Classico. Good against evil. I like that. Let's buy the Slammer Mill. They are also looking different, those orcs, as you can see and tell. We are also able to make different units later on. They have also many, many different heroes, as you can see and tell. Gothmog, Mouth of Sauron, Uvata, Camille. Witch King, and last but not least, the Dark Lord Sauron himself. Holy guacamole. It's gonna be epic, trust me on that one. Alright, we're gonna pick up the Eye of Sauron first, guys. And we're gonna use the Eye to creep as soon as possible. We are against Gondor. Gondor against Mordor. I like this. Let's use Eye, shall we? And let's make some Oryx. They are for free once again. Like in normal BFME one, he's closing the gate against Gollum. <laughs> he's scared. Oh, this is not gonna work out, right? No, 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 no. I is stronger here, gives you damage and armor and combat experience, but still not enough to kill those orcs with the orcs. Orcs are, yeah, they are for free, but they are also very weak. And he has also this uh, ring, it's filthy, filthy little neck. But I'm actually sad that we failed to creep and we even wasted the Eye of Sauron, my bad guys, sorry for that. <laughs> I was overestimating the Orc Warriors from Mordor. And also this is looking different, the Orc Pits, look at this Orc Pit design. I mean everything is kinda looking different, besides the Slaughterhouse, Slaughterhouse is pretty much the same. The Zitta is looking different as you can see. You can also buy the Slammer Mill maybe. Uh, to get some more money, and also Lambert Mills are giving us the wood bonus, which is gonna, you know, reduce the cost of our buildings. Get ready for fighting. Get ready for fighting, and once this is um, level 2, we are also able... No, we can actually recruit them immediately, right? No, we can't. Why we can't buy them? Kinda interesting. Oh, in the meantime, our hobby... What is my golem doing? Golem! Master. Come, Master. He's fast. He's actually he's getting outrun by the Swarks, unfortunately. But we have to get something on the field as soon as possible to be able to defend ourselves. Harad and Palace, maybe? I don't know what we need to get. Oryx, I believe they won't be able to deal with them in long term. So we can also, you know, get some more workers on the field from those Lammer Mills to maximize our resource income. And also use those Lammer Mills to scout. Lammer Mill workers, I mean. They cost only 20. Um, yeah, they cost 20 each, so we can actually use them to scout. And if you lose them, it's about 20 resources. Nothing too crazy, you know? We are also able to recruit Mordor Haradrim and also Soldiers of Rune, just like in the normal BFME from Mordor. Nothing changed in terms of this one. Let's build some more Slara houses because before we're gonna get some you know, trolls or Huma kills on the field, I wanna take a look into every single hero. Let's creep, let's not waste time. I keep saying it all the time because it's so important, wasting time in RTS games is... No, 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 no go. Right, we will have to lure the troll away, lure the work away, sorry, not troll, of course. From the lair with the one of, with one of our orcs, and once they reach level 2, they have also cracked the whip. We're just gonna increase their movement speed and will also grant them fear resistance. Okay, let's... Use the eye, this way they're gonna hit level uh, 3, if I'm not mistaken, because of the 100% combat experience you get. Yeah, level 3 indeed. And this way we can kill those wargs quite easily, right after. Alright, so now we have enough money for uh, Gothmog. We don't need to revive Gollum, because Gollum is only good early on, but later on he's kinda useless. Oh, they have to peel back a bit. I mean, the good thing about Mordor is we are also getting power points from losing units. And also, the units are looking different once they have level 2, South, Southron, Markmanship, 25% damage and 25% reload speed. Which, oh, but they are also like archers, am I right? Yeah, they are not like the Haradrims in BFME 1, guys. Okay, I mean, that's great. So we can just get this mill and also creep this Warclair right after. 
Dothmok is on the field, the leader of the Orcs. And Master of Siege, Nervi Catapults gain 15% more movement speed and reload time, that's crazy. Once you are level 2, you have the Lieutenant of Morgul. Um, Nervi Orcs will get move, movement speed bonus and also damage bonus. And with level 5, the time of the Orc, Gothmog summons two hordes of Orcs and Uruks. And he's also able to get mounted in this mod, the Shadow and Flame. Look at him, just like in the films. On a work, I like that. <laughs> that looks dope. Let's test him. We have also enough money now for uh, Mouth of Sauron and even for a Nazgul. And we feel the creep. I mean, the orcs are so weak. We have enough power points now for um, this one. I mean, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna eventually unlock every single one of them anyway. Can we trample them too? The answer is yes, we can. But he feels very squishy though. He, does, he takes a lot of damage from those archers. Let's try to creep with the Gothmog, this Vorklinger at the bottom side. Mouth of Sauron can also get mounted. And also this Nazgul can get mounted. But let's take a look into them first of all. I mean, even orcs are looking different. Uh, we gotta keep an eye also on Gothmog. Let's peel back a bit because there are archers we need to avoid fighting. I keep losing stuff when I was actually paying attention around the details. <laughs> I don't want that to happen again. Alright, Mouth of Sauron looks pretty realistic to me, I like that. And also the Nazgul is looking great. His name is his name is Uwata. I mean, he has Screech with level 1, he can also get mounted, just like Mouth of Sauron, and now we are able to get Camille on the field, which I'm assuming is pretty much the same like this hero here. And now we have three mounted heroes just like that. We lost this, unfortunately, but it's fine, there is Faramir. Now I think it's the time for us to test our heroes. We have almost the money we need also for the Witch King of Engmar for 3000. Just keep making more orcs. We can also put them inside the slaughterhouse if you want to. That's gonna give us money by the way if you don't know. Okay, the last Nazgul is also on the field. I mean there are just so many units I guess. And we have no heal, no sustain with the evil faction so keep that place in mind. Let's go for small tramples and then let's peel back. Let's not lose our heroes for no reason. Because we, we need them to be leveled up, you know, leveling up. This way we will get the chance to see all their abilities later on as well. Okay, now we have enough money for the Witch King. And then we can also, I mean, you can't buy Sauron until you have the Dark Lord from the Spellbook of Mordor. That's not possible. Troll Cage, the next building. <laughs> Mouth of Sauron has also abilities. Um, once he's level 2, units in radius gain experience, and level 3 is gonna. Black Speech, enemy units lose 50% health and 50% damage for a short time. The Witch King, he can also get mounted. So we have actually 5 mounted heroes as Mordor in the Shadow and Flame mod, and I like that. I really do. We can now use them. Witch King has to be quite healthy too. 4000 HP. While, for example, a Nazgul is 1500 and Mouth of Sauron is only 1400. And Gothmog even has less. So, Witch King is quite tanky. Level 2 now. We can also use Screech, but I believe we don't have to do that. You know what we can do? We can maybe get dismounted with every single one of them. Yeah, they're all getting dismounted at the same time. That's great. That's gonna make them tankier. And also we are able to recruit mountain trolls, just like in normal BFME, and once the troll cage is hitting level 2, we will get the chance to recruit the drummer trolls. For a party. We have enough power points now for the Men of Shadow. Summons two battalions of Easterlings and two battalions of Haradrim, but we can actually try to save for the scavenger. Or even call the horde, but I like scavenger because it's gonna give us constantly money, even if we don't have any uh, meals outside. This way we don't need to be worried about the map control all the time, you know? Okay, we can fight here. I mean, buildings are doing a nice job. We are also getting orcs on the field all the time. Let's destroy this first. We are leveling up like crazy. And also Witch King has some abilities, of course. You can, of course, change the weapon too with Witch King. And he has the Black Captain. A leadership bonus to Nervi units. 50% damage and 25% um, health. Leadership bonus to Nervi Nazgul's 25% damage. So in this case, Uvata, but also Camille are getting extra damage while near the Witch King, who is of course the leader of the Nazgul's. Okay, we have enough power points now for the Scavenger. Let's pick this up as soon as we possibly can. We are under pressure, but we have to deal with this army here first. I mean, we are losing some HP, but it's fine. Let's use this. 
You can also right click for the screech so they can use it whenever they, when they want to. The troll is kind of alone here, but the towers are doing a nice job and also our Nazgul's are doing a nice job. That's fine. It should be fine, I guess. And we, are, we need more trolls all the time to get the troll key to level 2 as soon as possible. And also we can try to make some uh, Muma kills maybe, you know, Muma kills. I'm sure you guys like Muma kills. Everybody likes Muma kills. Let's get mounted and let's get out here. There are just so many units to deal with and we have to peel back. I don't want to lose my heroes for no reason. Okay, let's peel back. Muma kill pen is coming up. We need to just be patient at this point. There are heroes, we can take care of these. Um, this is Boromir, the captain of Gunza. Witch King is also looking different. Every picture is looking different. I like this. And Camille has also ability with level 3. Leadership bonus to Nervi is selling 50% experience. And, and this one is giving leadership bonuses to Haradrim. Okay, I mean, Mouth of Sauron is pretty basic hero. Nothing too crazy about him. Unlike, for example, in BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King, in which he's definitely more powerful. Uma kill pan. Very expensive units. 1,600 each. We have to take a fight here. Our Mouth of Sauron is kind of low. We have to wait with him and let the others go first, if this makes sense for you guys. Okay, attack. Let's use this one. Let's use Creech. And once level um, 5, Morgul Blade, we have to be careful with Mouth of Sauron especially. Let's beat them and wait for the drama trolls now. We will have to invest 1,040. They are quite expensive, but they are also the best leadership unit in the game. There is also a hero. His name, his name is um, Ibrahim, Ibrahil, I think. Ibrahil, sorry. I was playing Gondor the other day. Okay, we have to peel back. Homer kill is on the fields now. We can also put one of these archers later on on top of the Mumma kill, I guess. Let's peel back a bit with the Nazgul's. And Witch King can keep fighting, actually. Let's fight with Witch King and also this dude is quite healthy as well as Kofmog. But this hero has to be extremely careful, he's very low. And also this hero has to be careful. Our units are, I mean, our Mumma kill is popping off. We have also trolls here, not a big deal. Um, we are kind of out of money, that's the problem. That's why Scavenger was so important. Now we are able to pick up the Darkness or the Rates of Wings. Summons two Nazgul riding on Fell Beast. This one is gonna make us stronger generally, but I wanna I wanna see that. That's new. Darkness is already something we know. So I wanna see stuff what we don't what we don't normally see in normal BFME one. Drama Troll, we can also put these archers on top of the Mumma Kill. Yes, we can. Orc pit, we can just keep making orcs all the time, just why not, because they are for free at the end of the day, right? Troll is, troll is to be careful, but look at this picture from this troll too. It looks quite nice, I like that. Alright, our heroes, they are, I mean, that's, I keep repeating myself, but adding something like aggressive stance, hold ground stance to give me one would be so awesome. I have, a, I have a friend of mine who is also modding, and I will ask him actually if this is possible. Maybe we can start making our own patch for BFME, just why not? Okay, let's get one more Muma kill on the field. And the power of Mordor. Against the power of Mordor, there can be no victory. And I want to see Witch King now. Uh, you need to get dismounted, I believe, to use this. And you also need to use the sword. You can use this with the mace. I want to see this, how much damage it's going to deal to Faramir. Not much, but it, it's crippling him down, actually. We are... Get taking so much damage even with Witch King. Tanky hero, but not tanky enough. Let's get mounted once again. And wait for the drama troll to arrive. And also the second. And we can try to just use the Nazgul's, I guess, right? Now we have Felbeast on their on their Felbeast. The Nazgul's on their Felbeast. Pretty strong. Flyers. They are not permanent though. They are gonna be gone very soon. I like that. I also like the fact that you have now Nazgul's on food. Witch King is level 6. Level 8 is gonna unlock his Lord of Whites. You fool, no man can kill me. The Witch King summons several Barrow Whites. I know Barrow Whites from Rise of the Witch King and the Hour of Doom. I want to see that. I want to see I want to see a Witch King getting level 10 this game. Trust me on that one. Also level 6. Time of the Orc, we can summon more reinforcements. Okay, let's guard this area. This way they can automatically attack everything. We have also Uruks now. Uruks are these units. They are way, way stronger than normal. Orcs, by the way, way stronger. 
But if we, oh, 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 we have to be careful with the mounted heroes. We are getting knocked down, actually. Mounted heroes are the worst against pikemen. So if you have to fight pikemen, actually, these nice ghouls are kind of knocking us down on the ground all the time. Let's kill back with the heroes. You guys can fight. And we are not gonna pick up anything else from the spellbook. We're gonna try to save for the 15 for the Dark Lord Sauron. Because I believe the main purpose of this video is going to be to see Sauron eventually on the field. The Dark Lord himself, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's make one more. Uh, Haradr Marjo. This way we can put him on, sec on the second moment kill of us. Does he have siege weapons or something? No, no, he doesn't have siege weapons yet. So let's peel back with the heroes. Let's heal up our time. We can also buy this upgrade, just why not? Now we can demolish the Muma kill pan because I also want to take a look into the siege works. Maybe they also added Grant to the game, who knows? Would be awesome. Imagine Grant, because Grant is existing in Battle for Middle Earth 2, but it's quite expensive. But it's one shotting everything, and it's also extremely tanky. This guy has Dread Armor, Uata is equipped with his Heavy Armor, Nerby enemy units lose 5% of all stats. And once he's level 8, Relentless Pursuit, movement speed increased by 20%, damage by 20% for a brief time. And pretty much the same also for Camille, Lord, Lord of the Whites and also the Hour of Doom, uh, Initial Blast in a Circular Radius, bonus for the Witch King, 50% armor and 150% damage. 150% damage. I mean, that's a lot of damage. Trust me on that one. Alright, we are not able to recruit Grunt, unfortunately. We can just make the normal stuff, what we are used to. Catapults, Siege Towers, and also Rams. I mean, Mordor doesn't have too many new units. Indeed, we have only the Uruks, actually, and that's pretty much it. I mean, the units are looking different. You have new heroes, of course. I mean, that's also very important to keep in mind. But you don't have many more new units beside the Urukai. Only heroes. That's pretty much it. Okay. Alright, let's keep moving forward. Maybe we can actually destroy this outpost at the bottom side. Would be great if we could. I mean, we are just gonna ignore all these units because I'm gonna send now my Nazgul's and my Witch King on the field. Oh, this, this guy wanna trample? Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. Alright, Govmo can also right click on this one, he has the mount uh, on his work. I mean, every hero, and that's, I like that about this faction, because every hero is kind of mobile, you know? And me for my, I mean, I, it's my personal preference, I like mobile, I like mobility, I like mobile units and heroes. I, I don't like units when they are on foot and extremely slow. They are also looking different, more the Urukai. Um, nice design, I like that. I mean... I don't know what to say for a game which is like what, 18 years old almost. Give me, team is still, I mean, doing a great job. Oh, look, this hero. Should be fine. Let's take him down actually. This hero with Witch King's Morgul Blade uh, stuns and greatly damages an uh, enemy hero. I don't know about greatly damages. Let's make him follow us and beat him into the Witch King, maybe. Come, Imrahil. It's my hour. No man can kill me. They will not know victory. Die now. Right, level six. I mean, we can keep fighting here, I guess. Did we lose a hero or something? No, no, we don't. We didn't lose a hero. They are good. All right. I wanna get Witch King level 8. In the meantime, our Muma kills and also our trolls were able to destroy this outpost, so we can just keep moving. Keep fighting for the map control all the time. Uh, we can also fight with the with these units. Uh, you are not able to buy Forge Blades on these units, by the way. The only possible upgrade you have is the banner to make them stronger, but they're gonna get also the single minded assault. Gain 25% damage against heroes. Once they are level 2. Level 2 is a massive power spike actually in this game for every single unit. And I like that. I mean, you have also many many level 10 abilities now for heroes which you don't normally have in BFME 1. And not like OP summons, like for example Balrog summon which can literally single-handedly kill the entire base. Yes, you are able to summon Balrog permanently, true, but 
This Balrog is by far not as strong as the Balrog from the summon of Mordor and Isengard in normal BFME 1. Okay, Gothmog has to be careful, he's face tanking too much. He's, I think, the squishiest hero out of these heroes that we have on the field right now. Keep fighting for the map control all the time, just like that. Okay, so we can keep moving. And ladies and gentlemen, we have enough power points now. You know, Bobat, the Dark Lord, just like that. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Okay, Sauron, my friend, come on, this Dark Lord, this time you fight for me. But I want to get my Witch King to level two, as, uh, level 10 as well, very important. Look this troll, please attack the gate, I mean the wall, sorry, not the gate. Look this drama troll, what is, <laughs> what is this drama troll doing, dude? Chill, bro, relax over there. He's dancing and stuff. And they don't automatically attack, that's what bothers me the most. Okay, so the Dark Lord is on his way, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm actually quite excited about his abilities. I have no clue. That's the first time I'm playing Mordor. That's the first time I will see the Sauron on the field in BFME 1. I know, I, you know, you can see them more and more often in BFME 2. They exist, Galadriel and Sauron exist in BFME 2 and in Rise of the Witch King as a ring hero. Let's go for a trample, maybe? <laughs> it was so funny when the tower was coming up. Uma kills are actually extremely tanky, and I believe that's a, one of the problems, because now you are not able to buy fire anymore. And without fire, you can't actually really kill those Muma kills in time. Look how long they are lasting, look how many units and towers are shooting at them. That's kind of crazy. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at him. Dude! Oh my goodness, even Spongebob is excited. Look, look, even the units of himself, of, you know, the light units are scared of the Dark Lord himself. Uh, good luck dealing with him, guys. Look at him. He looks great, am I right? Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about that? Anyways, we gotta take a look into every ability, every hero, uh, like Gandalf from Gonzo, Saruman from Isengard, Radagast from Rohan, and also Balrog or Gothmog. Not Kofmog. Uh the Durin Spin uh, from the Engma faction, I mean Gundabad faction, sorry, are coming. Look the damage with level 10 and also Sauron from Mordor. Let's turn and fight here. We can. Oh, Gothmog has to be careful. Gothmog has to be careful. He has only one hand, by the way. Look his hand. Do you see that? He's only using one hand. Is very weak and also quite squishy, but we can't say the same about uh, the Dark Lord himself. Sauron inspires fear into nervy units. Be friend, be they friend or foe. And then you have also telekinesis. Sauron can manipulate objectives with his mind, knock back battalion or hero from range. Let's try this. Okay. And you have also Anata, the Lord of Gifts. It temporarily covers enemy units, converts enemy units in the range. Let's do this. So, fight for me. This guy trying to fight the Dark Lord himself. Pew! Actually, he doesn't deal too much damage to the units. And then, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, you have the Conflagration. Uh, destroys enemy hero. Only deals 25% of total damage to Durin Spain, guns after White Saruman. But we don't need to use it against this guy because he's already dying quite fast. Boom. But I want to use that. I mean, I think you can one-shot a hero pretty much with this ability. But we will see. I don't know. I don't know. We have also enough power points now for the darkness. Our heroes, our other heroes are recovering over time. Can we also trample them down or something? The answer is no. You can go over them. I mean, the weakness of Badrock, and that's also the case in BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King, is he's extremely slow. But he has the crazy splash damage, he's able to hit multiple units at the very same time. Let's make an army worthy of more in the meantime, let's make some trolls, let's make 10, 10 trolls, 2 drama trolls, just why not? We can afford it. Witch King, join your master in the battle against Gondor. That could be literally the fight <laughs> in the Minas Tirith, you know, when uh, Sauron would be able to get the one ring under his control. Alright, he's very strong, but he's also taking a lot of damage, like, I mean, the heroes are not broken, you can still deal with them. 
I think Gandalf is the weakest one. And so far, I mean, Sauron is pretty powerful, but I believe uh, Saruman is the best one. From all the heroes I've seen so far. He has the chance of converting enemy units, he has the chance of Thunderbolt, he has the chance of Firebolt, he has the chance of Wizard Blast, he has the chance to give all these units around him also weapons, I mean, I mean upgrades. So, Saruman was feeling really strong. Okay, so we're gonna just make double troll cage, we have so much money now, we can afford it. And we can also pick up now this one, just why not? Troll cage second, which king is level 8 now ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to summon the whites. Looks like an army of the, of the dead summon, but those are the battle whites. And I want to take a look into how strong they can actually become. They are also looking different, unique. You are not able to re recruit them anywhere and only... Yeah, look at them. And only Witch King is able to summon them. Let our presence be known. And the next goal is going to be our Witch King to level 10. That's very important. You fool. I mean, this is kind of armor and passive, I guess. This one is the same. We have also seen everything from these heroes. The Witch King is the only one we are able to get a level 10 ability with. You can peel back. Maybe you can use this one. Enemy units lose 50% air health and so on. Witch King is also attacking way faster than he has the sword. But with the maze, he has splash damage. In the meantime, our... Oh, oh. Oh, one is it, entire battalion, just like that. You fool. I mean, I think Witch King's first ward when he was a born, you know, little guy getting to the world, he was like, you fool. You know, you. I'm, I was saying probably mommy, you were saying probably daddy, but Witch King was like, you fool. <laughs> because he repeats himself. I want to take a look into the maze now. You are not able to use Morgul Blades. Yeah, with maze, you will have splash damage most likely. Yeah, you have splash damage as you can see and tell. And I like this design from Witch King. Holy guacamole. Look at some guys. Do you see that? Do you see the design of the Witch King? Looks... I mean... Guys, come on. You need to give credits because this video... I mean, this game is from 2004. You know what I'm saying? And this has no cooldown almost. You can summon them once again. But it's so hard to level him up actually to level 10. Which is kinda... Look, look how much damage he's dealing. But he's extremely slow with the attacks. But in some situations, the maze would be the better choice, especially when they are clumped, for example, and there are multiple units kind of in one lane or one line. With this, you can one-shot multiple units. I mean, you are not one-shotting them, I guess, but still, dealing a lot of damage, knocking them down on the ground, disabling them is also at least as important. I mean, leveling up like this is actually quite difficult. Maybe we need to share experience and fight all together. We release the mountain troll. Ah, I forgot to make trolls also from the second. We have so many command points available, 600, and also so, so much resources now. Because we get money all the time from the from the scavenger. From the sca oh, oh, okay, now is the time. I want to I wanna see this from uh, Sauron. This guy is full health. And let's use this one, Conflagration. Yeah, you can one-shot them. This is crazy. But again, it works on pretty much basic heroes, but we are not able to one-shot, of course, the Durin Spain, Gandalf the White, Saruman, Elisar, which is Aragorn, and also Radagask. That's not possible, which would be kind of understandable, because they also need to collect 10, 15 power points to get those heroes on the field, right? This is crazy damage. <laughs> right, just fight. I want to share experience, turn and hit them. We need to share experience now, that's how it works. That's a level 3 furnace, should be able to protect itself, I'm assuming. And we, we don't even, we didn't even show him our real force just yet. The trolls are looking also a bit different design-wise. I like this. Look at this design. Pretty crazy. I'm impressed. And actually, I like this mod. I will try to play some PvP matches against Hot Army, it's kind of fun and good and stuff like this, but... I believe the real challenge is in the PvP matches. Maybe we can also try to play against 3 bots, 3 AI, 4 AI, something like this. Yeah, we have to peel back a bit. They are taking a lot of damage and... When they are on foot, look how slow they are. <laughs> they, are lo they are walking like chickens. Especially Witch King, he's so slow. And that's not Witch King, that's Uwata. My bad. Look this. 
This is looking dope, am I right or not, guys? Please. Bitch King, Gothmog, the mouth of Sauron, the Nazgul side by side, behind Sauron, you know? <laughs> that looks dope! And yeah, I'm actually impressed. I'm actually impressed, I'm actually impressed, I'm actually impressed. What is this? Why are they so tanky? Eternal fight. For Death and Glory? No, for Mordor. For the Nazgul. You wanna fight? I'm down. You wanna play a rough? Boom. And once again. No, I don't use it. Let's kill him regularly. This way we can get experience also with our heroes. Ideally, I wanna I wanna leave the last hit on. Oh, Gothmog is level 10. But Witch King has to get level 10. That's the goal. We have also this power point unlocked, which is gonna increase the orc production, but we don't need it. We're gonna build only trolls, trust me on that one. Okay. I mean, they, you can fight for us, I guess. Fight for us, archers. It's like the Dominate from, uh, from Saruman. You can also make the units fight for you. Let's peel back a bit. Let's get full HP with every single one of them. And then we're gonna finally try to get our Witch King of Engmar to level 10. To be able to see the last ability, the Hour of Doom. That's the goal. That's the dream. We've released the mountain troll. Okay, we have 600 command points and the fact that they, that they only cost 10 command points. Can you guys imagine how many orcs, I mean how many trolls we are able to recruit? We are out of money, but that's fine. We will get money eventually from these furnaces, slaughterhouses and so on. We will be in a good spot. Witch King is kinda low, but I believe we can now kinda fight back again because I don't wanna miss experience. I don't know why they are glowing like that. <laughs> Pew! And then hitting like an absolute truck. Absolute truck. And that's such a professional mod too. Like how much time had to be invested in that. And yeah, I know there are some similarities between this and Age of the Ring. And I believe they have also the permission of course for that one. But I am actually enjoying this mod big time. And... I hope you also enjoyed this one. If you enjoy, guys, please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe for more content like this. This channel is pretty much dedicated to Battle for Middle Earth games from BFME 1 mod to BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King. Talking about Rise of the Witch King, we will have a, gr we will have a world championship coming up very, very soon. If I cash price of $2,000. And if you don't want to miss those games, you can also check me out on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. That's the place I'm going to be live almost every single day. For now, I'm streaming every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday in, you know, GMT plus 2 around 7 p.m. in the evening, you know, in West European time. Let's fight this units first. I mean, actually, Witch King, come on, dude. Get level 10 already. Like, it's unbelievable how hard it is to level you up. He's so extremely slow. Half of Sauron is taking a lot of damage, but I'm down, I'm fine. We can actually send him back a bit. I'm actually down that Sauron is the one who is tanking. As long as Witch King is fine. I'm trying to put... Do you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to put Witch King closer to his master. This way he's able to share experience, but that's not being the case. You also peel back, please, Gothmog. Maybe you are not able to share experience from the kills of Sauron. I don't know. Alright, so let's peel back a bit. We are losing now a lot of time. We might even lose our heroes here, by the way. Uh, get mounted, please. Run, 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 run. Oh my, this was a fine hit. This was a fine hit. You don't want to fight here, my friend. I'm going to one-shot you. You know who I am? I'm the Dark Lord. Sauron, get one-shotted. <laughs> I'm getting too excited. I know, my bad, guys. Sorry for that. I mean, Sauron might die here. I'm kind of okay with that, I'm assuming. Turn, hit them one time and peel back. Turn, hit them one time and peel back. And micro your way out here. Oh, wait a second. Witch King, you can maybe cripple him down. We've released the 
Come on, clip them down, which king. Okay, let's go back. Got quite slow. Turn. Attack them one time. Boom. And then just peel back. They are getting so much money. Look our troll army. Do you see that? <laughs> but you need to be careful. Alright, we are fine. We are fine. You fool. No man can kill me. It's so hard to get Witch King to level 10. I can't believe that. Considering that every hero besides him, besides Mau and Mouth of Sauron, are level 10 already. Stop the armies of Mordor. We've released the mountain troll. I'm trying hard to get him level 10. He's really close, though. Really, really close. You fool. Look our troll army, guys. Do you see that? And once they are level 2. Or like high attack troll. Upgrades mountain troll into a deadly attack troll. Troll gains 50% armor versus peers. 25% damage increase passive ability. The cruelest, most intelligent of the Olakai were clad in some judged black armor and sent to the front line to serve as some of Sauron's most feared warriors. Cloud break, but I mean, we have nothing to get stunned. Trolls, they don't get stunned from this, and also heroes can get stunned, uh, stunned from this. Mouth of, uh, actually, Sauron is not healing up that fast. And I would love to have a way of sustain for the evil factions too. Okay. Oh, don't don't trample the pikemen. I'm telling you. La, let's just ride out, uh, ride out, and meet them. For death and glory. And he has only one text he's saying all the time. You fool. That's it. Uh, these are pikemen. We need to avoid fighting them. Let's trample down those archers. In the meantime, our units are level 10. And besides, yeah, Mouth of Sauron is missing, but it's fine. He has nothing to get anyway from level 10. Okay. Let's micro around and get into this back line here. Let's trample them down one time, one more time, just like that. And then micro around. We need to avoid fighting those pikemen. Maybe we can get dismounted and fight them this way. Yeah, they are also summoning whites. Because when you are mounted, the pikemen are gonna deal way more damage to you. Please keep that in mind. Come on, level 10, please. Level 10, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's time for the Hour of Witch King. Let's use it. I don't know what it is, but we will see anyway. That's it? That's what I was waiting for? Now we're gonna die for that reason, right? Yeah, we're gonna die potentially, yeah. With the spike man damage against Witch King. Now we are fine, we are fine. What's that? Oh, but you get also... It's like a... It's like a... Damage boost. Initial blast in a, circle, in a circular radius and then you get also... Swat with flame kind of thing. I don't know how long this lasts for. Can't tell because the flame, uh, the flame has gone from the sword already. Anyways... Anyways, guys, it's time. It's time. Mordor is moving for an attack. And I think we have wasted enough time. I wanted to just see the Witch King level 10. For the Hour of Witch King. And now is the time for Mordor to shine. Sauron, please relax over there. It's not your turn. Look how fast they are. <laughs> Look this Mordor. <laughs> Look this trolls, dude. Let's keep making more and more so we can send them eventually. They have almost full command points with trolls all alone. We gotta keep we gotta we gotta make sure that the drama trolls are nearby. And now we can also use darkness. Okay. We are also able to summon the Felvis. We can summon them maybe to protect this outpost. Just why not? We can afford it. And look at this. What can you do against such a reckless city? They have also this animation around them in a in a sickle way. I don't know what it is, but it looks dope. That's what I know. Okay, entire Mordor is going to war. Look at this Mordor troll army, ladies and gentlemen. Holy guacamole. I mean, I'm actually, normally in BFM1, the, the eye also gives them leadership. I see. Attack. I can't even give them trees. I don't even know if there are this many trees around on this map. We have so many trolls, they are all moonwalking now. Can't touch this dude. I mean, they're kind of bugging out because there are so many of them, you know? Let's break the gate, please, trolls. Boom, 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 boom. Dealing no damage, but, I mean, 
base is open pretty much. You don't need to break the gate. But I'm a nice guest, you know? I don't go inside a house without ringing the door. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Some stuff is happening. I don't know what is happening. We have a lot of trolls here, but he's also a lot of units on the field. Holy moly. I see trolls leveling up like crazy. Units dying like crazy. And the trolls are shining bright like a diamond too. He's a hero. Oh, he's so sweet. Boom. <laughs> Gets knocked back. Knocked down and taken out. Just like that. How long is the titter last for? Gonna Not even one sec. Oh, wait a second. More than one second because I was cancelling the attack. Dude, this is crazy army. Okay. I've never seen this many trolls in my life in one place. And also this circle around them is making them look so different, so it's hard to tell what is going on. Let's split them, split, uh, split them a bit, I mean, I can't even talk, sorry for that, guys. And Drama Troll just looking around to give them constant leadership, to make them stronger pretty much. Drama Troll has the best leadership in the game. 50% damage, 50% armor and 200% combat experience. It's massive. I'm actually asking myself if he, yeah, he has this outpost, so he's not gonna be defeated just yet. But that's fine. Okay, so this one is destroyed, this main base. That's very important. And now what we can do is we can first of all send our heroes to the top side. And then we can buy this base. When you have anything to attack, they're gonna charge. Mo uh, the Cloud Break is gonna reduce their attack, uh, movement speed. Look how slow they are moving with the Cloud Break. That's so funny. I mean, we have so many resources right now. But, you know, you can't have enough resources, right? So just make furnaces this time. Furnaces are tankier than slaughterhouses. The reason why we beat slaughterhouses with Mordor instead of furnaces in the first place is because slaughterhouses are giving us the food bonus, which is gonna reduce the cost of the trolls and moment kills. And once again, trolls are the main force of Mordor. That's why. Okay, so now you guys can also move to the top right outpost. And our heroes are making a move too. We have only this one thing here left. But it's fine, we can summon this one. We have not even summoned this before, right? Not even summoned this one before. So we are able to summon Easterlings and, you know, Haradrims pretty much. We have full map control. And, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's move now also top. And also the heroes can move just like that. Sauron shall see the glory day of Mordor, and look at this troll army. <laughs> there are so many of them, they can't even move. Holy guacamole, this guy is coming too. Witch King can again use this ability. Ooh. Look at a sword, do you see that? The sword is getting this, it's like Blade Master, but it's like with the red flame. But we can't even test this damage because everything is getting literally one-shotted from our units, just like that. that. Let's use also darkness. Let's kill everything what is left. And we are victorious, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more content like this. And if you want to see more content of BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King, you should definitely check me out on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash beyondstandards. Link is going to be in the description down below. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace.